Hi everyone, welcome to the Practical Robotics in C++ YouTube channel. I'm Lloyd, the author of Practical Robotics in C++, and what I have for you today is my first product review. I bring to you the BN0055 Absolute Orientation Sensor by Bosch. This one is on a carrier board made by Adafruit, and I'm going to be giving one of these away. The BN0055 isn't just another IMU. What Bosch has done was to take an accelerometer, a gyroscope, and a magnetometer from a normal IMU and added its own microcontroller and fusion algorithm. The BN0055 outputs all of the normal acceleration and vector data you, you would expect from an IMU, but also has its own fusion algorithm and can output absolute orientation in Euler angles or quaternions. What this does is free up your time and resources so you can get absolute orientation with a minimal of fuzz. I tested the BN0055 by adding it to a very simple robot that I built with some off-the-shelf and surplus parts. And I implemented a simple odometry algorithm that just uses wheel encoders for data. Now, as you likely know if you've ever tried it, encoder-only odometry is usually full of errors, particularly when it comes to keeping track of the angle, the heading the robot is, is aimed at. I ran two nodes, one with the original odometry algorithm and one that was the same algorithm except the heading was corrected from the output of the BN0055. The long green arrow is a visualization of the odometry message uh, published by the node that has the correction data from the BN0055. The shorter blue arrow is the uncorrected data. They start at the very same place and I just randomly drive the robot through a series of turns and destinations and you can see how quickly the two diverge. You can communicate with the BN0055 with either I2C or Serial. And if you use an FTDI, you don't have to have a UART Serial like on a Raspberry Pi. It'll work well with a Raspberry Pi, an Arduino, or my laptop computer. It's all fine for all of that. You can, of course, read the regular IMU data that you're used to, the accelerations and the vectors from the magnetometer, the gyroscope, and the accelerometer. You can turn off the magnetometer if you're working indoors, it's just a configuration option. And you can store and re-upload calibration data. So you don't have to turn your robot, your drone, your handheld device, whatever, you're, whatever innovation you're using it in, you don't have to turn those upside down and flip them all around every time you turn it on. I have to say that my completely unsolicited, unsponsored impression of the BN0055 is to give it two big thumbs up. I just love these little tools that for a few dollars will save me a whole lot of messing around and just take some of the workload off of whatever computer I'm using. I like to use Raspberry Pis in robots, so anything I can do to offload some work is fantastic. If you're using an Arduino, you definitely have a limited amount of memory to work with. Now let's get to the giveaway part of this video. I'm giving away a BN0055. This exact one hasn't been used. I just took it out of the bag so I could show you. And I want to give one away just to celebrate the launch of the YouTube channel that's going to accompany my book. The rules are simple. To win, you have to be a subscriber to my channel and you have to leave a comment below. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to use an online comment picker that's going to randomly pick from one of the comments. I'm going to make sure you're a subscriber and then I'll do an announcement video. And it's that simple. Make sure you click the little bell icon so you get notifications and you know when I do the announcement video. There's going to be more giveaways in the future. You'll have a chance to win a copy of Practical Robotics in C++ and other sensors and robotics components as I do some more reviews. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and being part of our community.